from it. Um, another astrologer just said, I've got a low IQ. I hope it's not these beach bum videos that's doing it. <laughs> but who cares? There's too much IQ around. Um, just a few words. Since I'm sort of paddling in the water, it seems appropriate to talk about Venus and its transit of Cancer. I went in the other day. And it's interesting, on the day that um, Venus ingressed Cancer, I was having a conversation with a, another astrologer, another famous one, and she said, uh, she didn't say this in a self-pitying way, she just said, you know, I don't have any family really. She mentioned one or two sort of stragglers, so to speak. But, you know, family and everything. She said it almost was some kind of relief, if I can be honest with you. And then that, of course, triggered a reaction from me, and I said, well, more have I. I've hardly got any family. And it was appropriate, in a sense, because on that day, as I say, Venus was going into Cancer. And Cancer, as a sign, is associated with family, with the home, the ideas of parenting. I mean, in some systems, we would say the moon represents the mother. These days, I'm less keen to place a gender or a specific role on a planet. But certainly one can say that there is the, the sense of parenting and nurturing with cancer. Um, it's also, remember, a cardinal sign. It's one of the four cardinal signs. Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. These are, in a sense, the keystone signs, at least in astrological law. And um, the home, of course, is one of the central parts of our life. If it's not the original family, it's the physical structure of the house. It's our acquired families through marriage, various other ways. It's all responsibilities with family. And in another sense, cancer as a type has to do with protection and also with conserving. We often associate cancer with memory. We say people with strong moons or prominent cancer in their charts that they probably have very good memories. There'll be an interest in collecting things, in nostalgia, the role of the past. All these things play their part. These are universal themes. They're not particular, especially to cancer, but they are the focal points of the sign. So when Venus is traveling through cancer, our minds are drawn to the idea of all those things which are personal to us, and family is one of them. Um, you can extend that thought to one's partnerships. Uh, but also I see it as a, a financial thing too, about how do we make the most of what we've got. And on the quiet, I've discovered that Cancerians are quite as much as ambitious as any Capricorn. Capricorn sitting at the opposite side of the chart. It's part of the Cancer Capricorn axis, of course. And it's surprising how many Cancerians are editors. I mean, Lorraine Candy has just lost her job. The Sunday Times Star magazine is a Cancerian. Um, it so happens that Shelley von Strunk, the astrologer who at the moment is not working at the Sunday Times, is a Cancerian. Cancerians, I find, get what they want. They persist, but their ambition is expressed differently. And often that ambition is expressed in a very social way and not in a naked, nakedly ambitious way, in a way that we associate traditionally with Capricorn, although these are stereotypes. I mean, one can't um, be too dogmatic about these things. So these are just some idle thoughts as I'm paddling in the water. As you can see, there's a doggy. Wherever I go, dogs come. I can't get him on the camera. But you can hear him pitter pattering all about. The seas are quite warm, it must be said. It gets warmer as, it, as the tide comes in because the sands and the stones are warm. So the immediate sea in the shallows is quite warm, a bit colder out. I go for a swim later. 